In this video, I will show you how to create multi-session host pools using Azure AD joined VMs and be able to use FSLogix profiles. This functionality is available in Nerdio Manager for Enterprise, starting with version 3.2. So as of the time of this recording, Azure AD joined VMs for Azure Virtual Desktop are supported with uh, personal host pools. Uh, because FSLogix currently doesn't work out of the box with Azure AD joined VMs because Azure Files does not currently support Azure AD join and requires Active Directory. However, there are other ways to configure FSLogix, namely with something called Azure Blob Storage that can allow you to create multi-session host pools with Azure AD joined VMs FSLogix and have those profiles uh, be fully compatible with those Azure AD joined VMs. So let's go through this process and see how it works. So let's start out by going into our workspaces page, open up uh, one of our demo workspaces, and let's go ahead and create a new dynamic host pool. When creating this new dynamic host pool, we can choose our desktop experience. We'll go with a multi-user pool desktop. We will choose Azure Active Directory as our ide uh, identity provider or as our, as our directory. And we will choose our default FSLogix profile. And immediately we'll notice two warnings that come up. You know, one tells us to review MFA requirements in order to allow AVD users to connect to Azure AD joined VM. So that's something that's uh, not part of this video. So we'll focus on this second box here that says Azure AD joined VM feature does not currently support authentication to Azure files, Azure Neta files, or Azure files server VM to access FSLogix profile. However, there is a way to use FSLogix cloud cache with an Azure storage account access key that can be used for FSLogix. So this is basically warning us that the FSLogix profile that we've selected from this dropdown here is not configured in a way that's going to be supported with Azure AD joined VMs. So let's actually cancel this page and let's go ahead and take a look at our FSLogix profile configuration. So we'll go to settings, integrations, and we're going to take a look at this FSLogix storage profile tile, which is where we define our FSLogix profiles. And let's just go ahead and create a new profile. When creating a new profile, we can give it a name. We can call, call it uh, AAD uh, join FSLogix profile or something of that nature. Um, then we can see, we can specify our registry options, select our path. Uh, and we also have this option for using cloud cache, which is something that we are going to want to select for our specific situation here. So we're going to want to choose use cloud cache and the way this works is that it caches all the right operations for the user profiles on the host where the user is connected and only then it then asynchronously writes those uh, write requests back to the file um, storage. However, in order to use FSLogix with Azure AD joined VMs, we also need to check this option called use Azure page blobs, because by default, if this option is unchecked, you can see here, if we click on this drop down, it will enumerate all the file shares, whether it's Azure files or Azure Neta files, will be listed in this list. However, if we check this box, you can see the selection has changed to select a storage account. So now instead of seeing our uh, FS logics, um, UNC paths of Azure files and Azure Neta files, we now have a list of all the various storage accounts. So in order to use this type of an Azure profile, I'm sorry, this FSLogix profile, you first must create a storage account in Azure in the right region where your session host VMs are going to be and make sure that it is a blob storage type of an account, sort of generic storage, and then once that's done, we can go ahead and create uh, this FSLogix profile. Again, I don't, I'm just randomly going to select something from my list here, click OK. 
uh, and it's going to enumerate that it has, actually has access to that account. And we now have a new profile called Azure AD Join Profile Cloud Cash. If we click on it, um, we can see the various options that we selected. Actually, I think it's this one that we created. So there it is. Now, let's go back. Now that we've created FSLogix profile that matches the requirements, let's go back to workspaces, open up our demo workspace, add the dynamic host pool, select multi-user pooled, select Azure Active Directory, and choose our newly created Azure AD Join FSLogix profile. And you can see the warning message disappears because Nerdio Manager has detected that this profile is properly configured. And then the rest of the configuration is exactly the same. So you, you know, specify your prefix and the network and desktop image and all the rest of the settings as if they are creating a normal host pool. And then once these VMs are created, users will be able to log in. Their Azure, uh, their FSLogix profiles will be created on the storage account with blob storage that we specified in the settings page. Now, the really interesting thing is that with this configuration using Azure AD and uh, FSLogix with Azure Blob Storage, we're also able to leverage the disaster recovery functionality of Nerdio Manager that allows you to enable DR at a host pool level. So for example, if we go to this host pool I've created and go to properties, we can click on DR and you can see that I have DR enabled. I have a secondary VM naming prefix, a network resource group, image template selected, as well as a secondary FSLogix storage account. And the system will automatically be able to use the correct storage account for the correct VM in the correct region. Be sure to go back and take a look at our host pool level disaster recovery configuration video uh, from, from prior weeks. I hope you found this useful and I hope that you get a chance to use Azure AD join without the need for, uh, for Active Directory configuration and leverage full functionality of AVD with FSLogix without any limitations. So see you next time.